Hello guys and welcome to another video. GIF, WooCommerce, Product Patterns and Extra Options allows you to sell products that can be customized by the user. Thanks to the option Text Area, your customer can enter a text before purchasing the product to customize it, such as a card message to add to a gift, for example, to a flower arrangement. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can insert a text area for your products. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect guys! Here we are inside the demo I use for the product add-ons videos. First, let me show you the product we will be using today. This is a gift idea, dried flowers arrangement. So what I want to do today is that I want to add a text area right here to allow the customer to add a custom card message to go with the gift. Next, we will also add another option, but first things first, let's begin with the text area. For that, let's go over to our plugin product add-ons and extra options. So we can click here, dashboard. From here, we find GIF and we click on product add-ons. Right over here, you will see all of the previous blocks we have created. But for today, let's go ahead and create a new one. So we go here and click add block. Okay, over here, I will enter the block name. So we'll name it customized gift. Now we can start adding the options. For that, we go over here and we click on add options. From this pop-up that we get with all of these options to choose from, today I will select this one, text area. So I click and now we're going to start to configure it. First, I'll begin with the title. This information will actually appear in the product page. So here I will enter, write your own card. And now we can move on here inside text area. First, I want to add a description to provide the customer more detailed information. So here I will enter this message. Customize your gift by adding a personalized message. Now, for label and tooltip, I don't want to add any other information, so I will leave them blank. I also don't want to add any image and the price right now will remain the same. The required option, I will leave it disabled because I do not want to make it mandatory for the customer to add a message. It can be up to them whether they want to add it or not. So I leave it disabled. But I do want to limit the number of characters. So this option here, limit input characters, I will enable it and I will enter for the maximum number 50. Now we are ready with our option, so I will save it. Okay, now that we have created our text area, what we need to do is associate it with our product. For that, let's go over to rules, and from here, show this block of options in, I will change from all products to specific products and categories. So I will select this option, and right below in products to include, I will search for our product. So I enter gift idea and here we have it. I just add it and we are ready. I will not change any other setting. Right here, show options too. I will leave it in all users. So I can save and we save one more time here. And now we can go back to the demo to see what our text area looks like. Okay, we're back inside the product page. So if I scroll down, right over here, we are able to see the text area we have created. Over here, we have the title, write your own card. And over here, we have the description. Customize your gift by adding a personalized message. We have also set a limit number of characters. So let's try that out. Here, I will enter a message. I have it here. Okay, as you can see, I was able to enter the entire message. So this means that the number of characters is less than 50. 
which is the limit that we have set. But let's say now I wanted to add another phrase. Let's say, enjoy your day. Here, if I try to enter that, as you can see, after I reach the limit, I am not able to enter anything else. Now, there is another thing that I want to show you that we can use to customize the gift. So for that, let's go back to the plugin. Okay, so here we are back inside our blog. So now, like I mentioned, we want to add a new option. For that, once again, we go here and click Add Options. This time, I want to select this option here, checkbox. So I click and from here we can configure it. So first for the title, I will enter customize your gift. And now over here, I want to enter the label. Now here I will enter add your custom message. Okay. Now this time I don't want to add neither a tooltip nor a description. So these fields, I will leave them blank. Also, I don't want to add any image, but this time for this option, I do want to change the price. Now, what I want to do is add an extra fee of five euros for this option. So if I click here, I will have three options. Product price doesn't change. Increase the main product price or discount the main product price. So I will go ahead and select the second option, increase the main product price. And we will get this new option below. So from here, if I click, we have two alternatives, fixed amount or a percentage. For this example, I will leave fixed amount and over here, I will enter our cost. So in this case, five euros, perfect. Now, these two options, I will leave them disabled, so now we're good to go. I will go ahead and save. Okay, now over here, we're able to see the two options we have created. And they will appear in our product page in this same order. So in this case, first we will see the text area and below we will have the checkbox. But I actually want to have it the other way around. I want to have first the checkbox in below the text area. So in this case, all I need to do is click the option I want to move and drag it to the top. And now I just let go. Perfect. Now I am ready to save. So we can go back and have a look. Okay, so we are back inside our product page. And if we see over here, we can see the checkbox we have just created. We can read our title and over here the label add your custom message. And right here, we see the little note regarding the extra charge of five euros. Now, I know you may be wondering why I wanted to add this other option in the first place. Well, actually, the idea is to let the customer decide whether they want to enter a custom message or not. So only in the case that they select this option from the checkbox, they should be able to see the text area to enter their custom message. But as you can see right now, both options are visible without the need to have this one selected. And this is because we're still missing one step. So for that, let's go back now to our block of options to configure this part. Once again, we are back inside our block of options. So this time, what I want to do is go inside our text area so for that, I will click here on edit. And from here, I want to go to the conditional logic tab. And from here, I want to enable this option. Set conditions to show or hide this set of options. So once I enable it, we get this. Display rules. And now we can decide whether to show or hide. In this case, I will leave show this set of options if. And from here, we have two alternatives as well. All of these rules match or any of these rules match. I will leave all of these rules match. And below, you will be able to enter as many rules as you want. For our example, what I want to enter here is our other option that we created. So the checkbox, customize your gift is selected. 
So what this means is that we will show this set of options, meaning the text area, if the customize your gift option is selected. So now let's save so we can see this in action from the live demo. I will save here and one more time. So now we are ready to go back and see the result. Okay, one more time we are back in our product page. This time I will refresh so we can see the changes we just made from the plugin. Okay, this is it. We can see how now only the checkbox option is visible, inviting the customer to add a custom message for an additional of 5 euros. So only if the user selects this option, the text area will be visible. Let's try it out. So I will select here and we can see how the text area immediately appears to allow the user to enter their custom message. Now let's have a look down here at the price. You can see how it has changed from 49, which is the base price, to 54. This means it has already added the five extra euros for the custom message. Now, all that's left to do is for us to enter our message. I will enter the message here and now I will add to cart because there is one more thing that I want to show you. So I will click here and let's go have a look at our cart. Okay, if you notice right now, we are only able to see the main product with the final price, but we are not able to see the detail of the custom message we have entered. But not to worry, there is actually another option that we can enable from our plugin in order to see here the detail of the options we have entered. So let's go back one more time so we can enable this. This time we are in the cart and order options inside our plugin general settings. Now the option I was telling you about is this one right here. Show options in the cart page. All we need to do is enable it and now I will save the options so we can go back and see what happened. Here we are back in our cart page. I will go ahead and refresh so we can see the difference. Okay, now here we have it. We can immediately see that now our product is also showing the details of the options we have selected. We have here the detail of the 5 euros we are going to be charged for the custom message and below we can read the message we have entered. And this option is actually very useful because it allows the customer to double check one last time that all of the information they have entered is correct before they proceed to checkout. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!